to remember and to teach. My passion for activism has truly come from my own family and my lineage and my background. I grew up just being a part of so many different minorities and being a part of a family that looked at the world in so many different ways that I think it's really important I take a part in that legacy, in the legacy that my family left me, and I really give everybody the opportunity to see the world in the same way that I do. To see the world from multiple different standpoints, whether it's as an American, whether it's Jewish or Christian, whether it's just being somebody that's international, whether it's being someone who's an artist versus a scientist, I truly think that there's every single opportunity for anybody to become an activist and not a lot of people recognize that because they're so secluded into their own identity. There are so many horrible things that have just plagued history, especially in what I study in genocide and the Holocaust specifically. It's something that's so tender and something that's so difficult to study that there's really no way to study it but to be optimistic. I mean, when you're looking at something as horrible as the Holocaust and you're looking at how many terrible things that people were put through and that you have the opportunity to make a difference and to change it and to make it possible that people in the future may not have to study something as horrible as what happened in the Holocaust and maybe to make it so that Holocaust and genocide studies is invalid and doesn't need to be studied anymore because it's no longer happening. The important thing is to study anywhere where there are people who have actually been through the genocide. So the reason why I'm in Poland is because there are so many people who lived through the experience of the Holocaust. Even if they weren't Jewish, they were here during the time period of the war. And really with the help and support of all of the professors and all of the staff at the Cohen Center, I really felt comfortable coming here to Poland and deciding to take my studies international. My favorite thing about studying at Jagiellonian University and this program that Keene State College has helped create is simply our interaction with the master's students. There are so many things that you can learn from a master's student who's working on a thesis that you would never be able to learn from an undergraduate who hasn't progressed that far, especially when they're all international students and all have completely different outlooks on what they're studying. I personally think the main reason why I continue to study what I do is because of the survivor that I first came to Poland with. She went through the Holocaust. She is a survivor of the Auschwitz-Birkenau camp and her sister was taken to Bauchek. And when I was there with her was when she found out that her sister was most likely taken to that camp. And just being with somebody who's had to experience something like that, she never had the choice to experience that. And she never had the choice to walk away from it. And it's the fact that I have so many choices and so many freedoms that I'm going to use those to honor her and to honor her family's legacy and to continue to study this so that hopefully people will never, never have to go through the same situation ever again. I come from so many different backgrounds that it's hard to separate out what part of me really makes myself the humanitarian that I am today. And just as I can't extricate the Jewish factor from the Holocaust, I can't extricate the fact that I am African American, I am Native American, and I was raised to look at humanity and to look at difference as being such a beautiful thing.